Hey everybody, this is RJ with Cook Like a Dad and I'm thinking out of the box today. I've decided, well, I've already made the meal. I didn't keep a camera rolling, so I took pictures of my recipe. So today, I'm gonna try something different. I'm thinking out of the box, going out of the box, out of the kitchen, onto the video. And I'm gonna give you a tutorial of one of my favorite recipes. It's family friendly, kid friendly, dad friendly, meatloaf. That's right, Monday meatloaf, one of the favorite staples here at the house. So, whether you use ground beef, ground pork, ground chicken, ground tofu, this is the perfect meatloaf recipe for you. It's not too dry, it's always moist, and it is a family favorite here at my house. So come on with me, RJ, on Cook Like a Dad, and let me show you how to make my favorite meatloaf recipe. And here are the ingredients. I want you to grab one and a half pounds of ground meat. I don't care if it's pork, chicken, beef, lamb, or tofu. Just get one and a half pounds of ground beef. Next off, you need one carrot, two celery stalks, two slices of red onion, one five ounce bottle of A1 sauce, two three ounce cans of tomato paste, I do say paste, one half cup of cheese or five thick slices of cheese, whatever cheese you'd like, just use cheese. I need you to get two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of Schilling's Montreal steak seasoning, that's two tablespoons. You need to have one cup of milk and two cups of salad crouton. For equipment, you're gonna need a meatloaf pan and an oven. And make sure your oven is preheated to 395 degrees Fahrenheit. The first step is we're gonna do veggie prep. So your vegetable prep involves getting a medium bowl. Make sure you do a nice uh, veggie chop or if you have a food processor, that's even better. So grab the celery, onions, and carrots and make them a fine chop. This is a great way to incorporate vegetables into a recipe because you can't taste these tasty vegetables in this recipe. So if you have thick, uh, picky kids, this is a perfect recipe to incorporate vegetables in your uh, meatloaf. The second step, I need you to grab a separate small bowl, take your two cups of croutons and soak them in milk. So make sure you have enough milk to cover the croutons because croutons are dry. Now on to step three. We now have a meat prep. We gotta take care of our ground meat. Take a very large bowl, bowl with your meat and drop it into the large bowl. Add your garlic, which was two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of Montreal steak seasoning, and take half your bottle of your A1 sauce and pour it into the bowl with the ground meat. I now want you to add the soaked croutons into the mix, and I now want you to add your little veggie mix into the large bowl with the ground beef. And I want you to use your hands and mix this entire concoction very well. Now we're on to step four. Take a small bowl and add into the bowl the other half of the A1 sauce and empty the entire two cans of tomato paste. And you're going to mix this concoction. It's gonna be a very thick tomato paste. You can add a little water, but I really want it thicker than ketchup. One cooking tip, you can add a little more Montreal seasoning into this tomato paste concoction, but I want all these ingredients to be mixed in one separate small bowl. Now we're moving on to step number five. We're gonna put down our first layer of our meatloaf on the bottom of our meatloaf pan. And what I want you to do is press down gently to make sure that it's nice and compact at the bottom of the pan. Next, I want you to add a thin layer of this tomato sauce we just made and make sure it's covered the entire first half of your pan of this meat concoction with a layer of this sauce. I now want you to take a layer of cheese. So whether you have grated cheese or sliced cheese, make sure it's covered that entire first half of your meatloaf pan over the sauce. Now take the remaining meatloaf and pack it down on top of your remaining concoction. Make it into a nice little meatloaf sized pan and you'll see from my pictures, I want you to go ahead and take the remaining paste and cover the entire top of your meatloaf with the leftover paste that we made sure your oven is preheated to 395. Place into the oven for a minimum of 45 minutes. 
You will note as it's cooking, you're gonna have at least 45 minutes of, of baking time and you will see the top of your meatloaf get nice and baked and crispy, almost a little burn marks. That's what I'm looking for. Make sure that once it's done at 45 minutes, turn off the oven and allow the meatloaf to cool at least five to 10 minutes um, outside of the oven to let it settle. My marvelous meatloaf recipe. Thanks again, this is RJ from Cook Like a Dad. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you think of this video recipe.